हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट साइटोप्लाज्मिक हाइब्रिड्स व्हिच आर आल्सो नोन एज साइब्रिड्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो दैट व्हाट आर साइटोप्लाज्मिक हाइब्रिड्स और साइब्रिड्स सो दीज आर हाइब्रिड सेल्स व्हिच कंटेन द न्यूक्लियस फ्रॉम वन पेरेंट एंड साइटोप्लाज्म फ्रॉम बोथ द पेरेंट means generally you have seen that hybrid cells are those cells which are formed from the fusion of two different cells and after the fusion the hybrid cell it contain the nucleus and cytoplasm of both the parent but in case of cytoplasmic hybrid or cybrids they only contain the nucleus from one parent while the cytoplasm from both parent is there so the cell which have nucleus of one parent and cytoplasm of both the parent that cell is known as cybrid cell or cytoplasmic hybrids now how we can produce these cybrids the method of producing cybrids so the general principle is just to you can say deactivate or just to kill or remove the nucleus of one parent so that after hybridization the hybrid cell it will contain the nucleus of only one parent so how we can remove the nucleus or how we can you can say inactivate the nucleus so there are different method like first by the use of x rays or gamma rays so we use x rays and by these x rays or gamma rays we inactivate the nucleus and now this non dividing cell they will serve as a donor for cytoplasmic xenophores when they fused means by x ray or gamma rays we just inactivate the nucleus so now the hybrid cell will contain this inactivated nucleus so you can say uh, it's similar to a hybrid like the nucleus is there but it is not active so this is one of the way of producing hybrid the second is by treatment of certain metabolic you can say metabolic inhibitor for example iodoacetate so this iodoacetate it inactivate the protoplast so generally we pre treat our protoplast with iodoacetate it will cause the degeneration of non fused and auto fused protoplast while the fusion of this iodoacetate pre treated protoplast with the non treated protoplast will cause metabolic complementation and ultimately result in the viable hybrids so the iodoacetate treatment it does not impair the nucleus of treated protoplast thus the later one it can complement the x ray irradiated protoplast so by using this metabolic inhibitor like for example iodoacetate we can also create hybrids similarly the next method of producing hybrid is that when the fusion of normal protoplast with e nucleotide protoplast means we just remove the nucleus of one of the cell so when the nucleus is not there that is e nucleated cell so after fusion it will form only hybrid because nucleus has been removed already so how we can remove so for this generally we centrifuge our cells at high speed like 20000 to 40000 for 45 to 90 minutes and after this treatment the nucleus you can say it is removed and sometime we can also give the exposure of cytochelazine b in combination with the centrifugation so for this you can say the complete e nucleation will be there next we can also produce hybrids by fusing a normal protoplast with the protoplast containing non viable nucleus means in this case nucleus is there but that nucleus is inactive or you can say it is non viable so the hybrid will be formed and finally we can also eliminate the nucleus after fusion means once the fusion has been done there is a stage when the two nucleus they are distinct during that stage we just eliminate one of the nucleus so as a result now the hybrid cell will contain only one nucleus from one parent and cytoplasm of both parent so by this we can also make the 
साइटोप्लाज्मिक हाइब्रिड्स और साइब्रिड्स सो दीज आर द सर्टेन मेथड्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग साइब्रिड्स और साइटोप्लाज्मिक हाइब्रिड्स सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे गाइस सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच